So hopefully you've been developing a character that you feel comfortable drawing very easily. Here's a character that I'm very comfortable drawing. I can take him, draw him like that. I can make him flying. Can't forget the cape or he can't fly. So if this character is going to be talking to us, word balloons are very standard and he's coming in saying, hi, I'm Wormy, introducing himself to you. And the style of balloon you use actually tells a lot about the character. Is it a fun word balloon that's nice and round? Here he's thinking about a happy planet. So there's different kinds of word balloons you can use and there's techniques to lettering also. It takes a lot of practice. You'll get a feel for making your letters nice and neat. So as you saw, I went ahead and drew myself some lines to write on. What you need to concentrate on is making sure that your lettering doesn't touch each other, that it looks as good as if you printed it off of a computer program. The hand lettering gives you a lot more freedom and style. You go like that, and then if you decide, oh, you know what, I want to make that even bigger, you can make the exclamation point a little bigger and heavier. I always do the words first and then add the balloon. That way you make sure you've got enough space for the balloon. You have room to make a pointer going to the character. In this unit, there's a whole sheet that you're going to practice of different balloons, but this is actually how you're creating them. Hey, he's getting a little excited here. I'm going to use some Sharpie markers. See, I'm having a little more fun with the lettering here. It's a little rougher because he's upset. Something's going on. It's still a word balloon, even though it's got all these points coming off it. You can even accentuate the balloon. You can add little drop shadows to make it jump off the page. It's another place where you get to express yourself as a cartoonist, what's going on here. And these are an old cartoonist trick, little drops of sweat coming off, little agitation lines, some little roughage where he flew out of the earth here. It all adds to the interest of the picture. It all adds to the uh, character. Now this one here where he's flying, go back to the six. You know, little shading lines in there, those lines under there, little cross hatching lines that separate the cape from the body. He's thinking about the earth here, so we've got a happy earth, but if I go down and get a smaller marker, let's say the three, and I do the rest of the details in the three, it doesn't detract from the expression on the character's face, because now you have some shading here that's much lighter. It still works, still adds to the art, but it's much more detailed, and if, let's say He's thinking about love. When you look at this picture, your eye's gonna immediately be drawn to Wormy first. You're gonna see that he's flying, he's flying fast. Always thinking about the earth and the earth is thinking about love. And that's all done with line wave through your markers.